Hi, everybody. Uh, this is another episode of The Facts. Uh, my name is Lenore Von Stein, and this episode is called um, <clears throat> Getting Weaker, Finding Strength. I think it's another in a series of ruminations on ambition. And uh, so sitting with me tonight are Bern Nix, uh, Beth Griffith, Andrew Bolotowski, and Rachel Evans. And um, so that's, here's a little song I put together. If you kill me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to straddle the earth, stride over the earth like a, I want to be rich. <laughs> but, you know, being rich, there are consequences for, for other people's happiness, as, and, as well as long range issues. And, you know, so, so, you know, how do you advance uh, morally uh, uh, when, and, and pragmatically actually, when your wealth is somebody else's poverty? I mean, uh, you could just ignore that, which is what I imagine most people do, and I probably do that. Darida, I could have said yes, cause that was a beautiful ring. Anoma, and I don't know what I feel. I'm passionate to some, so some, or not. So tonight, uh, I want to look at this 
I want to I want to get insight into this phenomenon, this this moral conundrum that is it's like a medieval painting. It like pulls my leg into hell, and um, and because I you know I have to get a better grip on these moral conundrums if I'm going to move forward. They can't just you know be can they <laughs> running the show? Baby show, bado, babushi de bo. When um, when Obama was elected, I I, I was worried about uh, the cynicism that would set in when it became clear that you know that he wouldn't really change the terms of the debate because that cynicism is is a good tool for you know for the opponents of of freedom and liberty or whatever. Uh, so now we're in that storm and, 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 and not only here, not only in this government, but you know, many parts of the world, that storm is, is happening. And so how do you balance uh, individualism and fairness?
used to be very afraid that I would expose myself to ridicule if I if I went for what I wanted. You know, it's just you give somebody a, a tool to use against you. But I'm not so afraid anymore. I I, I guess I've updated my my defenses. <laughs> Nazis try to kill the personalities of their victims. My mother, she couldn't resolve the ethical dilemma be, uh, in the relationship between wealth and poverty. It, it, it was part of her life. Here's another problem that, in point of fact, like Denny Hoyer or somebody in the Congress, no matter how much I, I learn or feel about inequity, it, it doesn't matter because those aren't the, the walls I need to scale.
I used to hurt myself when I was upset. I used to, like, like I swim regularly, so I, I, this is a long time, but I, I would bump my head more, more often and more violently on the, on the, on the edge of the pool, or, you know, or hit my hand, and, and, um, and in, in, so here's the segue. In the, in the current <laughs> political discussion uh, about uh, the government in the hands of the rich, uh, a lot of people, Americans, seem to want to get rid of the government but make the rich richer. Um, and, and maybe it's simply because th that is a change that you can count on. It's like cutters. <laughs> I have a. I know this guy. He's an economist, and and um, he sees the individual as in control of the situation, of their situation, 
and um, we were talking one day about stifling creativity, and, and uh, he said to me, well, you managed to avoid that. And um, <laughs> it wasn't exactly a compliment coming from him, but uh, <laughs> and nice as, a, as, as that thought is, you know, that I managed to avoid that. That wasn't what I was talking about, you know. We need everyone's gifts. Oh, so slowly I'm reading it. Uh, Montagne. Uh, I don't think I'm saying it with an Italian accent. He was French. Montagne. Thank you. Uh, and he, he lived in the 1500s, and maybe he's the premier essayist or the first, you know, the, and, you know, an essay is a, and these shows, the facts, they're like essays, you know, this, the, the essays are, you know, you're talking about yourself, you know, and, 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 um, and Montagne, yeah thought that um, self-knowledge uh, was more certain than other knowledge. That, you know, having people, he, he lived in a time where they were revering the classics and having people stuff things into your head is different from you just, you know, discovering it yourself. And, um, and so he was using himself as a, a, a model of the human condition, exploring himself with as much courage as he had. And, um, and uh, and he said he he said it 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 wasn't it wasn't just vanity he was using as he was exploring himself. He, he said it was all over. It wasn't just vanity. It was over. Boo boo. Boo boo. Shall we do? It had a purpose. I'm not just dressing up for you. I'm dressing down. It's not just natural, it's real. That's the goal. Oh, oh, oh. 
Pupu, oh, pupu, 